When I began my spiritual journey in 1976, I began from the heart, meditating on the heart chakra. what we call our physical, biological apparatus, including the brain. But it's not just the brain, it's the genes, the activity of genes, everything that's happening, mitochondria, every level of the body. The biology is not the basis of consciousness. Consciousness is the basis of bounds. So true. And the chakras are junction points between consciousness and biology.
This book is not merely a collection of words. It is a map. It's a map for the voyage within your consciousness. You know, one of the first things I learned when I got into office was how much trouble people had in their lives. We use terms like tension, but in public life, they talk about mental health. And I will tell you, if you look at the state of Georgia, that's one of the primary focus, which is how to address mental health. Now, when, the, when clinicians look at mental health, they think about medication, committing them to mental institutions or uh, providing medical help. But it is just as important for people to pull back and meditate and understand what is important in their lives. And with this book coming, especially for the youngsters, I think we have roots from India. We know a little bit of spiritualism and um, religion we are exposed to. But how about our kids? They, they don't even know unless somebody would come on and tell us, explain us. And more than parents, I feel the books, the knowledge, and somebody else would tell you, they listen to you, especially the teenagers. Is to say this is religion agnostic. This is a tool. This is a spiritual path. It doesn't mean anything to do with Hinduism or it is a great journey for anybody to take. That is what we will continue to work on. <laughs>